on the lighter side. Not that light. Lighter side. <laughs> Jim and Edna were both patients in a mental hospital, and one day while they were walking past the hospital swimming pool, Jim suddenly jumped into the deep end. He sank to the bottom of the pool and stayed there. Edna promptly jumped in to save him. She swam to the bottom and pulled Jim out. When the medical director became aware of Edna's heroic act, he immediately ordered her to be discharged from the hospital as he now considered her to be mentally stable. He went to tell Edna the news. He said, Edna, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is you're, you're being discharged since you were able to rashly respond to a crisis by jumping in and saving the life of another patient I have concluded that your act displays sound mindedness. The bad news is, Jim, the patient you saved, hung himself with his belt in the bathroom right after you saved him. I'm so sorry, but he's dead. Edna replied, he didn't hang himself. I put him there to drive. How soon do I get to go home? Wow. 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 Sorry. <laughs> I guess I can redeem myself and give you a blonde joke. A blonde reports for her university final exam, which consists of mainly true and false questions. She takes her seat in the examination hall, stares at the question paper for five minutes, and then a, uh, in a fit of inspiration, takes her purse out, removes a coin, and starts tossing the coin and marking the answer sheet. True for heads and false for tails. Within 30 minutes, she's all done, whereas the rest of the class is still working furiously. During the last few minutes, she is seen desperately throwing the coin, 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 swearing and sweating. The moderator, alarmed, approaches her and asks, what is happening? Well, I finished the exam a half hour, she replied, but now I'm rechecking the answers. We're going to eventually get to chapter 8. We won't spend a lot of time re telling the story, but some people here might need to have a little refreshing. It's good to laugh. Amen? Amen. 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 have it? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for our time together, God. We thank you for the family, the body of Christ. We ask you now, Holy Spirit, to teach us through your word. Your word is truth. Show us, O oh God, what it is you want us to learn from this book. A book that doesn't even mention your name, but yet such a valuable book when it comes to teaching us your ways and what you want of us. We thank you and praise you for what you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, Esther, she becomes queen. She's a Jewish lady in occupied territory of Persia. Of course, the king doesn't know she's a Jew and she'd won the beauty contest in order to become his wife. And uh, Esther has a cousin, an older cousin, who has been raising her. Evidently, maybe the parents maybe died on their trip from, uh, from uh, Judah. Who knows? We don't know the background, but we do know that Mordecai, her cousin, had raised Edessa. He made sure he, she would be called Esther so that the king would not realize that she was Jewish. 
And you can tell because of Mordecai's, uh, his um, resolve to worship God. It doesn't say it in the book, but you can tell that he raised her to be a fine lady, a one who feared God. Amen. Well, everything was fine until, until there was a little problem. The problem centers around a man by the name of Haman, an egotistical man who is appointed second in charge to the king. And the reason why he's a problem is, in his pride, he expects people to bow down to him. And this was something that Matt, uh, Mordecai refused to do. Because in his mind, I'm sure, he's thinking, I only bow down to my God. Amen. And this is one thing that really...